everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to attempt to, <coughs> excuse me, to do something a little bit sparkly and sort of like smoky um, for New Year's Eve. Um, don't know how well this is going to turn out, but here we go. First of all, I have forgotten to bring my eyeshadow primer. That was a good start. I'm using Benefit Stay Don't Stray. I'll zoom you in a little bit. Too far, that's, uh, it goes wacky, doesn't it? I've done my eyebrows. Please excuse the mess they're in. They could do with plucking. I still have to pluck my eyebrows, even though I don't have much of um, eyebrow there. I just get some stray airs at the outer corner where they don't want to be. So I'm just gonna dot some of that on there. And then I'm going to powder it down with Wet n Wild Boule. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got asthma cough today and it's really annoying. So. I'm going to use some colours from the um, Sweet Peach palette. And then a few um, of my usual um, crease colour. And I'm going to use a colour tattoo um, called Shady Shores on my mobile lid. So it's just a creamy, goldy colour. So I'm just going to pop that. On there, like so. Like that. Oh, you can see if I am close enough. <coughs> I never really can never get it right. I went a little bit higher on that side, I better do that a bit higher and I just wait until that has dried down a little bit off the lid, there we go. I'm just looking down here, I had, um, oh, I thought I had my eyeliner. Oh, I'm going to have to use that one. I haven't got down the one that I actually wanted to use. Um, so we're going to go in to start with, with Milk Chocolate from Natural Collection. Go in the out first. I'm going to take that a little bit higher than my natural crease line. Just a, a little bit. And I'm going to get a blending brush and just blend that through. Till it's sort of well blended. And then do the same to the other eye. Oops, too low. I'm quite sorry, I put that one low. I'm used to um, putting this colour into the uh, lower crease, but I say I'm just going to the higher part of the crease. It doesn't matter if it goes a little bit lower, it's all going to blend in. Mm. 
and I'm going to blend that through a little bit more doesn't have to be totally neat blending brush I need to use my clip brush clean and give that a swirl round in there Right, and then I'm going to go in with a slightly darker colour, and this is Swiss Chocolate by MAC. I'm going to use the same brush that I used in the first place. And I'm going to go lower with this colour. Just, And I'm going to take this one in my crease as much as I can. Like that. And then it's going to go and blend with the first colour that I put down. It's all going to blend together. Just need it to blend like so. And also giving that little bit of a blend up as well and I need a little bit more of the first colour down just to take that up a little bit higher just a wee bit and then brush that off on the brush cleaning tin and give that another blend Then I'm going to go in with the brew. No, I might use the one of the ones out of the Too Faced. I'm going to use the peach white for my brow colour. Just brushing off my my brush, and I'm just going to put that just at the top. And then just blend, blend that in. Just going to use my finger to do that one. Like so. And I'm going to go in again with that cream shadow. So I want it a little bit heavier on the lid so I'm going to go over it with another eyeshadow but I just want to just take that on there just a little bit more So, I have a wet wipe <laughs> to wipe my fingers. Now I'm going to go um, over the lid or from the corner to just about here with a col colour called Luscious from this Sweet Peach palette. going to put that just over the top of that colour here I 
I was looking for something a little bit more of the colour that was there in the first place, but I couldn't find anything that sort of really went with what I wanted to do. So I sort of ended up with this one. I think it's okay. Well, I think it's going to be okay. I hope it's going to be okay. Let's put it that way. Just patting that on. Make sure you are um, knocking off the excess colour so you don't get too much fall down. And just pat the colour on as much as you can. I am sort of blending that, trying to blend that in a little bit into the crease with this brush. Eyelash won't go away. Okay. Right. I still need. I'm not quite happy with the crease colour. I think I just need a little bit more in there. That's better. And I'm going to give it a little blend in a moment. Just needed to be a little bit more there, if you get my meaning. I'm just going to clean that brush off and actually try and blend with the brush that I have that I was putting the colour down with. It's a little bit more dense than the other, other brush that I was using in it might not spread the colour quite as much. There's the other one. Well, sorry, I didn't finish what I was saying. I'm just trying to concentrate here. <laughs> really not quite sure what I'm going to end up with. Um, now I want a very, very small brush. Um, that one, I've got that one. We'll try, try this one first. Um, this is, um, I think it's a Mac E30. I think it's one of the old ones. And I'm going to go in with Talk Derby to me. It's a black, um, a little bit purple, I think, and a lot of sparkle. So I just don't know how this is going to go because I've not done this before and you need the tiniest little bit and you really really must tap off I mean that's the tiniest bit and I'm just going to build it up as I go and I want to pop that on the outer grill just pop, pop that on my cheek I just want to build that up as I go just on the outer corner I mean, there is some fall out there. Um, right, now I'm going to try and match the other side. Sorry, I'm um, really have gone quiet on you, haven't I? Um, so I hope you've all had a really nice Christmas. And um, if any of you are going out tonight, um, please be careful, especially if you're driving. Um, well, I've brought that over a little bit more than I wanted. I wanted to keep it really a little bit more in the corner. Right, I'm going to take a little bit bigger fluffier brush there and I'm just going to blend a little. 
going to blend that through. Just do that. James! Sorry. James! Poor dog was about to, well, I got the mirror in front of you, the dog was about to be sick, you didn't, didn't want to know that, but uh, there you go. And I'm going to go across the crease again with a little bit more crease colour, just to blend that through a little bit more. the lid colour. I'll brighten that up a little bit more. I don't know what the poor dog had been chewing on but he must have been chewing on something. It's terrible when he goes out in the garden, especially when he's on his own. You would have thought he was a puppy instead of a nine-year-old dog. Right, I think I'm sort of happy with that. I'm just going to clean up underneath the eye. back in with a little bit of the brow colour just to pop that back in a little bit just a tad and use my finger just to blend that in just a little bit right I haven't quite finished yet I have got another little addition to go on that Right, I'm going to do my eyeliner, which is, I'm going to use a black one, it's a L'Oreal, it's this L'Oreal Super Liner Ultra Precision. It is a liquid liner on the end of a brush. Mm. Actually, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my MAC, my MAC one. It's called the little black bow. You remember this one? And it has a little bit of glitter going through it. It's not quite as black as it could be, but just going to use my normal favourite brush that I use to do this with. And I'm just going to line just to straight across, I'm not flicking it out. No, it doesn't want to draw on this shadow that I've got on. I mean, you can't see it as much on the outside corner because of the eyeshadow there, but you will see it a little bit more on the inner part, like so. this side to try and match it up. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Luckily that didn't drop on the floor. Just bounce on the table. Right, I'm just going to do the rest of my face for you while that sets and then I'll curl my lashes. Um, I'm just going to use my Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser just under my eyes. My glasses are catching the side of my nose, please ignore that. <laughs> you won't see it when I've got my glasses back on. I will cover it up for you, or try to cover it up for you. Just a little bit around the nose, down the sides, across my chin. Just like so. And then just blend, I just blend that in with my finger. Just blend it. bit around the redness. Right. And then I'm going to use my Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder. Just going to use up a small brush to start with, just on the areas that I put the concealer. It's a really good powder this. Um just um I need a bigger brush. I'm just using a big like powdery type brush and I'm just gonna very lightly take that around the rest of my face. Just over my forehead really quickly. And then I'm going to contour with the Kate Moss Rimmel contour colour in the middle. Just on the Real Techniques contour brush. Starting at the top of my ear and just working the way down towards my mouth but not right toward not right to your mouth stop sort of about here it's usually about right if you take it into your airline so that it blends away and I usually blend up the sides of my temple a little Because it's New Year's Eve, I'm just I'm going to make it quite sort of um, up a little bit um, more than I would normally do it. And then for the blush, I'm going to use a peach colour blush, and it's um, an Avon Colour Trend. Unfortunately, they don't do this one anymore. I don't think they do the colour trend. Um, blushes at all. So. This one has a little bit of a sheen going through it and again I'm going to take it just a little bit heavier than I would normally and I'm going to take that up my temples a little bit too and then I'm going to get a Fiona Styles um, if I can get it open and I can't even think what it is I'm going to put it here um, I'm going to use the middle one and I just cannot think what it is sorry and all that let me see if I can find another one which actually says what it is you know, I've just gone totally from my head. Highlighter. I just cannot believe that. So I'm just going to highlight 
And again, heavier top of my cheeks, up round in a C shape around my eye. Around there, like so. Down my nose, down the centre of my nose, up into the hairline underneath my fringe. And then I'm going to take my finger and put it on my cupid's bow. While I'm down here, I will, sorry you couldn't see that, never mind. <laughs> While I'm down here, I will put my lipstick on and I'm going to use a matte type of beige colour. Um, it's number seven precision liner in nude. So I'm going to line and fill in. Put my glasses on, would be a good idea. So, and then the lipstick I'm going to use is also number seven, and the colour is cinnamon spice. It looks like that. I mean, you could use a red if you wanted, you know, to really sort of sparkle things up a little bit, you know, but. I think for, for myself, I have got quite a bit going on in the eyes and I think that's enough for me. Right, I am going to curl my lashes. Like so. Put my SOS Lash Balm on. So, and then I'm going to use my Rimmel, Rimmel Argan Oil Mascara. Hair caught. It's now got a scar on it. Right. Then I'm going to use my 2000 calorie waterproof mascara from Max Factor. hair cut just before Christmas and you put some more some new layers in and there's an awful lot of wispy bits and they do get caught and I, I knew I was doing this video today I washed my hair got it all washed and dried and I forgot to um, straighten it and it's just out here so I've had to put it into some sort of bun and I hope it looks okay <laughs> Now that's got mascara on. Now I'm going to go underneath with that liner I did on the top. Can't find the pot, it's gone. There we go. I need some more liner on my brush.
just a little bit to start with because I'm going to use the other colour on the top of that. Right, and I'm going to take the colour that I used on the outer part of my eye on the same brush that I used and I'm just going to blend that out just a little bit Take a small tapered little brush, oh, and then with the colour that I used on my lid, I'm going to take that from the corner and join it up underneath. jangled the camera to apologise and then put my hair back down and I'm going to get MAC <laughs> I'm going to get MAC reflex pearl glitter with my finger I'll get the thing open to start with and I'm going to, oh, I've got black all over my hands let's get rid of that first <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit on my ring finger, well that's too much, like that to start with. And I'm just going to dab that on the middle of my eye, like that. And I hope that doesn't fall all over my face. There we go, and we have some on my face. Do apologise about that. But it's bound to, I mean, and it is New Year's Eve, so what's it matter? I don't think it does. So there you go. That is my effort. Uh, I'll bring you up a little bit. For New Year's Eve, um, it's not as dramatic and out there as some people would wear but I am getting a little bit older and you know I have to I have to tone it down a little bit I think anyway um but there you go I'll zoom you in a little bit further so you can see the eyes a little bit better And if you wanted, oh, we're done with it. There we go. You could put the tiniest bit of glitter on your lips just to catch. I mean, there is only the tiniest bit. Um, because like I said, I don't want to overdo it. And um, it will catch the light just a little bit. So, so there you go. That is my look for New Year's Eve. And I want to thank everyone who has continued to watch my videos over the last um, year and a bit since, you know, Steve's passing. Um, I know my videos haven't been, um, I don't think they've been as good as they used to be um, and I haven't done as many for you um, but I am getting back into the swing of things now um, but I think I'm going to stick to one video a week or maybe two depending on how I feel um, you know during each week 
Um, so I want to wish you all a happy new year. Um, keep yourself safe. And I will see you in 2018. So bye bye see you for next now. Year. That's my son shouting, see you next year. Dirty bye bag. everyone. Bye everyone. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so bye bye. Thank you. And again, thank everyone for watching. Um, you've been so kind. I love all your comments. I read all your comments. And as you know, I do answer all your comments. Um, so that will carry on into 2018. So again, Happy New Year. And I will see you again soon. Bye for now.